Hey everyone, this is Dummy Dunks on PAX, back with another video. Today I got three Zendikar Rising set boosters, and honestly, I am <laughs> feel like they're not going to be amazing. So I, I also got an Ikoria pack, because I, I, I'm trying to give them a better for the doubt, but it's pretty difficult when it's five fifty for a pack. That's a, that's a lot for a pack. Um, I'm not, you know... I'm not really sure what's uh, exactly in these. I saw there was a video on uh, made by Gavin uh, Gavin Verhey, I think his name is one of the Magic uh, R and D guys. But I don't I don't watch him to be honest. I just kind of skimmed through the video. I was like, oh, this, this might be kind of cool. So uh, so these three packs were fifteen bucks or sixteen bucks together, and then I got. An Ikoria pack that was uh four nineteen. Target up their prices. Magic packs are four nineteen for a normal pack, which is uh twenty cents more than they used to be, three ninety nine. So here we go. I'm gonna save the Ikoria for last because I expect to get something sweet from it for some reason. I probably won't, but I'm I'm expecting something. So uh here we go. Zenicar rising. Whoosh. So I know there's like an artwork card that I will happily throw out very quickly. Oh, you know the the packs, so I have like a nicer feel. <gasps> a new kind of booster. That alone makes me not want to open them. I don't know why they had to get all fancy. Oh, here's the my first Tabarax I've opened of the set. Pack number like 20. No Tabarax still. <laughs> so we got an artwork card. Hooray! Hooray! Tabarax, Hope's Demise. It's actually kind of sweet. Of all the cards I could have got an artwork card for, Tabarax is probably number one. So, I won't throw that one out yet. Foil Planes, kind of cool. Uh, I imagine with these being in these, it's probably making the price of Full Art Basics lower, but, you know, it's, it's life. We got a Subtle Strike. Oh, for the record, I just I basically just want Tabarax. There's nothing else really I want from this. Subtle Strike, Oblivion's Hunger, Hagwar Constrictor, some black cards. So this is the, like, package thing. Oh, 1-1 one, one counter, 1-1 one, one counter, 1-1 one, one counter. I saw that was something. And we got some Uncommons, I think. Lithoform Blight, Mind Carver, Low Mage Domination. This card's actually pretty good. Kabira Takedown Flippy card. Here's the Who Gives a Crap random card section with another Oblivion's Hunger, Scorch Rider, Magmatic Channeler, that's a good rare. Okay. And we got a Prowling Felidar foil showcase. Kind of cool. And uh, who gives a damn? Oh, it's actually a plant. But it's uh, the opposite direction of this one. Oh, who oh, got the difference? Guaranteed foil up to four rares. Let's count up to our four rares, shall we? We'll count them. Up to four. Ready? One. That's all. That's a big number. I don't know. We got super lucky there. We paid extra dollar fifty for a foil prowling felidar and a tabrax art. Do you guys see why I'm not super sold on them yet? Maybe I'll get some cool. They'll change my mind. But I'm going in with pessimism for a change. Pessimism with a positive voice. Pack number two. We got a backwards card. Hooray! And we got Nighthawk Scavenger art. Woo! Will I ever use this? Absolutely not. A non-foil swamp. Great. Canopy Bailoth. Strength of Solidarity. Teeter Peak Ambusher. Oh! Oh, those were supposed to be a theme. The theme was... Random cards! That was a nice theme. How, how nice of them to give me random cards and say it's a theme. Oh, what about the landfall deck? Um, there's one landfall card. What about the party deck? Oh, great, there's a party card. What about warriors? Oh, you got a warrior. They just, who cares? They did zero effort on that one. Very upset with them. Grotog Night Runner. Sign of the Swarm. Sure-footed an Infiltrator. We got a Canyon Jeroba. Or Jaboa. Showcase Art. Another Teeter Peak Ambusher. Second time in a row I got a duplicate common in a pack. Already liking this less than draft boosters. Deadly Alliance. 
Our rare is uh, Tajaru Paragon. Hooray! A card that probably not see play in anything besides limited, but who knows? This might see play. I got a foil Demon's Disciple. This might actually make Cleric, so it's not that bad. Okay, and we got a reminder of what combat damage is. This isn't even a token. Right in the trash. All right, ready? Up to four rares. We got one. I know you guys are impressed with those up to four rares. Pack number three. Whoa, a third pack. I'm not rigging these or anything, I promise. I just tore the, pl the paper off. And got the special surprise inside. The surprise is me being disappointed. Hooray. We got water. This isn't one of the islands. Cool. Wet. There, There's an island. Not the same one. Flavor fail. Broken wings. Cliffhaven kite sail. Utility knife. The theme there was cards that I play in draft as my 23rd playable. Hooray. We got an attended healer, kite cell cleric, paired tactician for uncommons, a coom hellhound showcase common, a squid, a bug catcher, orin reef ooze as a rare, yay, thwart the grave, that's actually a kind of sweet foil and a plant token. Remember, remember everyone, let me go, let me pick out of the trash can here, remember, Guaranteed foil up to four rares. Up to four rares. Up to four. Up to four rares. They put it right on the front so everyone could know up to four. In my three packs, how many rares do I have? One. Two. Three. Three licks to the center of the Tootsie Pop in three packs. Look at that. Up to four rares in three packs. Wow. They really blew my mind with that. This pack's a dollar cheaper, and guess what? I'm going to get the same amount of rares and one less artwork card that I won't do anything with. So that's more value to me. Whoosh. Look at that. We got a pack of Ikoria. I am almost willing to bet this pack is better than all three of those combined. It's very likely that it won't be, but I'm feeling optimistic about this one pack of Ikoria. That's why I grabbed it. We got a Blade Banish, a Keep Safe, Forbidden Friendship, Snare Tactician, Bristling Boar, Dead Weight, Savai Sabretooth, Anticipate, Cloud Piercer, Vulpakeet with the really interesting showcase kind of artwork, Will of the All Hunter, Clash of Titans, Splendor Mare, and our rare, Frontland Felidar, and... Okay. Willing to admit that pack was as bad as everything else, but it was a dollar cheaper. And for a dollar, it's almost the cost... It's a quarter of a pack. You could get five of these normal packs for $20, or you could get four with your guaranteed foil up to four rares. Mediocre promises. I, I'm I'm willing to lean towards the one dollar cheaper packs, but you know, don't be surprised when the video title is "Don't be bamboozled by <laughs> set boosters." They're okay. Is this worth five dollars? If you average this a pack, maybe because the foil thwart the gray is probably like a four dollar card, but uh. If your average pack's this, you're, you're not looking too hot. If your average pack has a foil land, you might have your $5 worth. But it's close. It's it's hard to say if these are worth it. Because I don't think they are. Oh, it, maybe if you value your artwork cards, which I cannot value any less. These aren't a magic card to me. Yeah, you got your stuff. They don't even put anything on the back. They put... Oh, it's the Zendikar Art Series. Thanks. Thanks for your art, Island. I mean, the artwork's nice, but it's the size of a magic card. That's that's my issue with them. The, if they made them bigger and made them dividers, like thicker, bigger dividers, that'd be kind of cool, but... It's the same, same card stock as a magic card. Actually, it might be a little 
the little worse quality card stuck. But, uh, yeah. This is Demi Dunks on Packs. Don't be lured in by the up to four rares. Promise. And they're just normal booster packs that cost more for the most part. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.